Summer, summer, summer time. Hi everyone, I'm Sadrine, this is Amaric. Hello. And in this video, we're gonna share our top summer shows for 2016. Let's go. We're gonna break the shows between new and returning shows. Now, of course, this isn't all the summer shows that are coming out. These are the shows that we're the most excited for. But if you want a full list of all the shows coming out this uh, summer, you can head over to tvequals.com. We'll put the link in the description for you. So let's start with the new shows. First up, Preacher. Based on the comic book of the same name, it tells the story of a small town preacher who gets visited <laughs> by a phenomenon that will change him and the community around him. I wish I could be more specific because I'm a huge fan of the comic book, so I know what's gonna happen. We saw the first four episodes, super, super excited. I absolutely recommend you watch it. It is a no miss kind of show. I know nothing about it and I'm, yeah, he can't tell me anything while watching it, but I love the first four episodes. Like, I have one word for you. One word. Cassidy. Oh, yes! Cassidy's the bomb! Outcast is based on a comic book by Robert Kirkman, who also wrote The Walking Dead, and it follows a character who's been sort of plagued by demonic possession of people around him. And now it's years later, and that's, you know, there's a new sort of demonic possession that comes into town and he gets sort of involved and then we find out something about possibly his abilities regarding those possessions Ooh. and I gotta say if you say demonic possession I'm like nope 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 <laughs> I'm out I'm out I'm out but I decided to read the comic book first which I think was a great idea because when I watched the first episode, I'm like, oh, I totally don't know what's gonna happen. I can totally deal with with watching it now on TV. I do think it's a really interesting take on demons and are they demons? We don't really know for sure. And that first episode is fantastic. Clever Man, which is an Australian, New Zealand, American import, six part series telling the story of a sort of group that's kind of like refugees, asylees, living in a world that's not really accepting them, except it's a kind of very special refugees, asylee. There's a science fiction element to it. Looks really, really cool. I'm very interested in watching it, and uh, I encourage you to try it as well. Animal Kingdom. Now, this is based on the Australian film of the same name, and it follows a family whose matriarch is quite powerful and, and leading them into maybe not so legal stuff. It's a family crime drama and uh, from the look of the trailer, because I haven't seen the first episode, it looks like it's definitely all about character development, character story, driven story. To me, it reminds me a little bit of, you know, the Southland type shows that you would see on TNT. So if that's your thing, you know, watch it. I'm curious to watch the first episode. Brain Dead from the creators of The Good Wife tells it's a sort of like a comedy political drama with a twist because the politicians on Capitol Hill have a bug in their head that's changing their personality. That's Is it a bug or is it like multiple bugs? It might be multiple bugs. Oh, I, I haven't know. seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I usually like political kind of shows and I like the political kind of comedies. So this could be a nice little fit, could be a mix between Veep and The Good Wife. Okay, maybe not The Good Wife because I'm not a really very big fan of The Good of Wife is amazing, Americ. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, moving on. Feed the Beast. This is a story of two friends who decide to open a restaurant, but they also have some personal Drama. Drama, including uh, one of them looks like he's coming out of prison and it's maybe in debt. And the other one looks like he just lost someone, so he's still grieving. And it stars David Trimmer and James Sturgis, which is mostly why I'm kind of interested of watching it. So again, looks like another character drama, <sighs> not for America. I might like it. I'm curious. So I'll watch it. The Tunnel, a UK remake of the Swedish acclaimed series, The Bridge. This time, the twist is, it's focusing on the tunnel connecting the UK and France, and the two cops that are going to be working together, one of them is gonna be French and one of them is gonna be English. So there you go. If you liked The Bridge, this might actually be an interesting sort of like twist 
or a new approach to this whole storyline. So, you know, it's not like they're t doing it a shot by shot. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes. And Stannis. Right, it's a comedy about a plane crash on an island. Lost style a little bit, except it's funny. So we saw the first two episodes and it's hilarious. It's, it's really funny. <laughs> I think they I think they, uh, they have some shots that are similar to Lost, except they actually take it completely other side of it where it's like really funny and really absurd. I really enjoyed it. And it's and raunchy comedy too. It's oh yeah. not like PG oh, at all. No, this is like it's, it's, really, it's really, 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 really great. I, yeah. If you need a little comedy between all the drama, <laughs> this is it. Switching things up, Stranger Things on Netflix, starring Winona Ryder, tells the story of uh, a, a disappearance, a mysterious disappearance of a local boy. And Winona Ryder plays the mom of the boy who sh in, opens up an investigation trying to figure out what happened and who's responsible responsible and all that good stuff. There might be some supernatural element, might not be. It, uh, it's, a, it's a very mysterious show. I mean, disappearance, I'm in. I'm not. Go Netflix. <laughs> American Gothic. Now this is the remake of a 1995 series, I think, uh, about a family who realizes that someone within them might have been responsible for some crimes. So it's a little bit of a whodunit. Is it you? Is it you? Family secrets come out. And more importantly, Anthony Starr is in it. For you Banshee fans, Lucas Hood has made a comeback. Another mystery crime that I, I, I can, I, I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see if, uh, if it's good. Rudy's comedy from uh, famous director Cameron Crowe. Uh, follows a group of stagehands who basically are sort of like behind the scenes, behind every concert and trying to make things work and you see their relationships and all the things that go with that. So there you go. Is it, is it, is it for, for you, Sandra? Possibly, yes. <laughs> I mean, is there romance? I'm in. That's what I mean. Is anything for you, Merrick? I feel like we're literally going down the list and you're like, no, if, no, If no. Rhodey I was like... some sort of action thriller in which Rhodeys are solving crimes and killing, you know, the punishing the wicked, maybe, maybe I'd be interested. I feel like this is the Sandrine list, not the American list. Just saying. 13, another mystery crime, sort what? of ish. It's about a girl who suddenly reappears after 13 years of captivity. But then some question starts coming up about whether she's really who she says she is. So there you go. Now the good news is it's only five parts. So we'll get to the bottom, hopefully really quickly. I mean, you know, five, five episodes, so. What's up with the summer bam, bam, bam. of like disappearance and, and crime and like drama? I know, you would think of the sun, <laughs> happiness, so far. No. We want dark. Shooter, starring Ryan Phillippe, who plays an ex-sniper who's like the best at his game and he gets framed for a crime he did not commit. And now everyone is after him, Jason Bourne style. Dun, 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 oh, this is a crime thriller that you want! My show! People shooting it's people! My show. <laughs> it's my show! It's my show! You're yes! So, you're yeah, so yeah so totally am. <laughs> totally am. Sniper. Is there explosion? Yeah. Is there shooting? I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a five year old. Yay! The Get Down on Netflix. It's about a group of teens living in New York City. It's a musical drama by Baz Luhrmann, which is really all I need to know because Baz Luhrmann is like bae. Do you guys like, want to figure? Do you guys want to figure out where where I was lost? Where she lost me? Musical drama. Just stop a musical. <laughs> Don't even say the next. I, I, it could I, be musical I, comedy. Baz Luhrmann musical can do whatever. <laughs> musical is like not my best. But it's Baz Luhrmann. The night of a, another crime drama that happens in New York City, starring John Turturro. You don't know much about it. You know, just know that there is like sort of like a murder. We're gonna try to figure out who it is or try to not figure out who it's not. What happened the what night happened of? What happened the, ha the night of? Chesapeake Shores is a new Hallmark Channel series. It's about uh, Abby, who lives currently lives in New York, has a career and all that and decides to go back home. And then of course, in those typical types of stories, you know, you're reminded of family and maybe your career is not that important and it's all like lovey-dovey and I'm totally in because sometimes I need a little cheesiness in my life. Americ, 
Are you gonna watch? Just to think. <laughs> and that's all for new shows. So apparently the theme for the summer is crime, crime, crime. Drama, depression. Possession, sad, don't go out. You know? <laughs> Just stay in. Except for Red. So get it! But there's also a lot of exciting returning shows, so we're gonna talk about them now. Starting with Killjoys! Yes! Oh, God, so, yes. so, 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 so excited for Killjoys. Second season. Second season. It's uh, Bounty Hunters in Space, for those of you who don't know and watch it yet because it's amazing. Bounty Hunters in Space. Bounty Hunters in Space. space. Just... It's, it's, it's just one of our favorite shows. If definitely. you haven't caught up, please, 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 please watch it. I think it's on Netflix. Give it a whirl, it's so amazing. good. In the same vein, Dark Matter. Sci-Fi Fridays! <laughs> Sci-Fi Fridays, <laughs> also in its second season. Awesome show! Just yes. great ensemble cast, great mystery. This is what you should do. You should watch Killjoys and then watch Dark Matter. And then just... Yeah. Just... Yeah, just the, prep. These are the shows you must watch this. You must, you must Especially absolutely if watch you're those. Yeah, absolutely. If you're a sci-fi sci fan, fan. Mm, you're in luck. Wayward Pines! Season two takes place after the events of season one. So if you watch season one, which was actually really good. I didn't expect it, but I watched it all. Really great. I mean, the cast has changed a little bit. Obviously, some characters have died, but now we're taking a new character that just arrives at Wayward Pines, and it seems like we're gonna find out what, you know, what his deal is or how he adapts to life there. Major crimes coming back as well. This is America's show. It really like, is. Like, he loves this show. No, I no, like, it. I legit, legit love that show. From, started with the closer. Moved on with Major Crimes. It's just one of those shows. I cannot stop watching it. Unreal season two. That was such a huge surprise in season one. Such an addictive show, so much drama, so much craziness. It's the behind the scenes of like a bachelor type show that we follow. So you can imagine, like the behind the scenes is even crazier, I feel like, the show itself. Mr. Robot coming back for a second season. Have to admit, we started watching the first season, we loved it, but we didn't quite finish it, so we don't know what happened. Know. We really need to catch up, we, we really need to catch up. I mean, we, we really need to catch up, because we really want to start watching se season two. Orange is the New Black, back for a new season. I just binge that show every time. It's about female inmates in prison, and sort of they are lives and relationships and everything that's going on in there. Such a fantastic show. Every season is amazing. I love it. When it comes out, it's usually binge for like two, three days and then I'm done. Imposter. Now, I randomly came upon this show, I think, last season when it was almost done. And it's actually really funny and it's like light and sometimes I need a little light in all the drama and crazy, you know, stuff. It's a story about someone who decides to flee a life of crime and takes the identity of a gay pastor, comedy and suits. <laughs> Teen Wolf, we are very excited that it might be coming back this summer. We don't have a premiere date. We actually don't even know if it's coming back this summer, but we're assuming. Yeah, usually and it hoping. comes back either summer or fall, so... So, so yeah, you know, so I'm just, just... We're just, just hedging case, our bets. You know, yeah, just, hedging our bets. You know, we're just we excited. don't know, we don't know. And finally, we wanted to wrap it up with some honorable mentions. These are shows that we're not caught up with or maybe not exactly watching anymore, but are worth, you know, mentioning. Because they're you. back. Beauty and the Beast, which is wrapping its final season. So, if you've been a fan of the show, this, this is, is it. it. This so, is it. This is it. This is it. Same for Hell on Wheels. This is their final season. The Strain. Now, we've watched the first season, but we haven't caught up on the second season yet. Um, might want to do that at some point. <laughs> Piggy Blinders. We've seen the first season. I don't think we ever finished it. It was pretty good, but I think we just ran out of time. But it's coming back for its third season. And finally, Survivors are more. I watched the first season, didn't watch the second season. It's coming back for a third. Really, really funny comedy. So anyway, those are all the summer shows we're excited about. Hope you were able to find something to watch. Kill Joyce, Dark Matter. Kill Joyce, Dark Matter. <laughs> That's really all. I if you're watch. excited about any of the shows that we talked about or any shows that we forgot to talk about that are not on our list, yes. comment below and please let us know. Yes. We don't. We didn't mention everything. I know. I mean, there's so much. Yes. That's coming please, out this please, please comment your favorite show below so we know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, so you don't miss our other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Death, crime, kidnapping, mysterious dis disappearance.
Demonic possession! Yay, summer! <laughs>